The resurrection of Jesus Christ changes things permanently in your life. If Jesus is alive, listen, if since, how about we do since? Since Jesus is alive, death is not what the world says it is. New definitions. We got to go back and change the words. Dictionary.com, Webster, got to go get new meanings for death. If Jesus is alive today, there is a God, no matter who says otherwise. And specifically, let's get really specific, it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Jesus, John, Peter, and Paul. That God. That God is the true God. If Jesus is alive today, the miracles happened. Miracles are for real if Jesus is alive today. He really walked on the water. It wasn't a, a cold morning and there was a little layer of ice and he just went across and someone saw it. No, he really broke the bread and made 5,000 meals. He really touched blind eyeballs and made them see immediately. It happened. The parables are true. The Old Testament is true. Jesus embraced the entire Old Testament. Don't you dare try to separate them. The whole thing is true. If Jesus is alive today, the goals of your life must change. You know, there's two piles over here, and you're going to get, if, as soon as you say Jesus is alive and, you're, and you mean it, you get put from pile A into pile B. Pile A over here says, my whole life is about building up as much money and nest egg and security and living for my joys and pleasures and happiness and just getting all I can before this life is over and sitting on the can. That's my life. Jesus comes in. If he's alive, he takes you like the claw and picks you up off of that pile and puts you over here. And this pile is titled, For the Glory of God. It's a different pile. Everything you do is funneled through a different reality that there is a living God who really has a meaning for your life, who has a purpose for your life. If Jesus is alive, you are not some cosmic accident. You did not climb up out of the primordial soup. You did not sprout legs and become an iguana and a cat and a dog and a chimpanzee. And all of a sudden, here we are. That is not the way that it happened. If Jesus is alive, you were fearfully and wonderfully made by a loving creator who has a purpose for your life. If Jesus is alive, since Jesus is alive, you have a way to deal with the sin and shame and guilt that you feel in your life. If you don't have a risen Savior, you are still in your sins. You don't have any mechanism to deal with the things that you've done that you feel guilty and there's a broken relationship with God. If Jesus did not rise, you've got nowhere to unload that. The ship is full and you're at the harbor and you're looking for somebody to come take these boxes, but there's nobody there to take the boxes. But if Jesus is alive, boom, take it all. Jesus paid it all. All my guilt, shame, gone. If Jesus is alive, we don't have to live our lives making idols of ourselves. We don't have to live our lives building up the kingdom of me and having nowhere to place my gratitude and thankfulness in a place other than myself. If Jesus is alive, I get to say, thank you, God. I get to be a, a gratuitous person. I have Thanksgiving. You know, I can eat my turkey on Thanksgiving and I can say, I didn't do any of this. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have done great things. If Jesus isn't alive, you got to say, I've done all of this, and then when you die, it's over. If Jesus is alive, you don't have to fear death or hell because he destroyed it. He will call us one day to himself. He will bring us to his side. If Jesus is alive, every saint you've ever known, spouses, grandparents, children who have died in the Lord, you will meet them one day again because Jesus is alive. And he will, I don't know who's going to get raised first, you, them, that the order don't matter. You're going to meet together one day and you're going to see their face and you're going to be in the new heavens and the new earth and you're going to be worshiping Jesus beside them again. Because Jesus is alive, we have that promise of new life. If Jesus is alive, 
He's up there right now listening to this moment. When we open our mouths and we sing, he is pleased in it. He is smiling. He's happy that we are singing praises to him. And when you open your mouth and say, our father who art in heaven, boom, frozen rope between you and the throne room of God. And you get to pray to the king of the universe because Jesus intercedes for you. It's real. So do not live your life as if the tomb has a dead body of Jesus inside it because it does not. It is empty now and it has been empty for 2,000 years. And it will continue to be empty. And when he returns, it will become on the clouds with glory. That's how Jesus will return. That is the great hope of Easter, that our God is alive and our faith should be alive. This is the story of redemption. The Redeemer has come. He has made us right with God by means of his own blood, and he triumphed over the enemy in the resurrection. Jesus Christ is the star of the story of redemption, and if you call upon his name in repentance and faith, you can join that story today by experiencing true redemption for yourself.